The Portland Trailblazers have been trying to put a contender around Dame for what feels like a decade at this point. So I'm going to take control of the Portland Trailblazers, and we're going to give Damian Lillard a contending roster that can win him a championship. So first of all, I'm going to go after Zion Williamson. I've seen trade rumors surrounding him in real life. We've got the third overall pick. We've got Anthony Simons, but they don't want to make a trade happen. So I even decided to include Yusuf Nurkic. I know, very generous of me, but they still didn't want to make this trade happen. So I included Shaden Sharp in the move as well. But guess what? They still didn't want to make this trade. So I decided it was time to regroup. I went ahead and tried to make some other moves. I traded Yusuf Nurkic and Shaden Sharp, and I got the fourth overall pick and Kevin Porter Jr. in the trade finder. After some consideration, I decided this was the right move to make, and boom, KPJ, you're on the team, but not for long. We're about to trade you. We're trying to include you in this Zion trade package, but they won't even take the third and the fourth pick. We're including Nas Little more first. I'm doing everything I can to try and get this trade done, and they still won't do it. So at this point, I'm just going to give up. We'll try to trade for somebody else. I've seen Pascal Siakam trade rumors kind of going around, so I guess I'll do this move. I don't love it, but we'll go ahead and make a Pascal Siakam trade. Anthony Simons and the third overall pick, and we get Pascal Siakam and OG and Anobi. Next up, we're trading KPJ. I told y'all he was not staying on this team. We're also trading away the fourth overall pick. I see DeJounte Murray, of course. I will most definitely take that trade. So now we got OG, DeJounte, Pascal. We're, I'm kind of cooking. I'm kind of in my bag right now. And we also had the 23rd pick. I used it to select Derek Whitehead. He was projected to go higher, so I think picking him up was a solid move. And then I also drafted this guy named Bailey in the second round, but then I saw he was a 69 overall and realized I didn't want to pick him up onto the roster. We will go ahead and add Derek Whitehead to the team. As for the player options, we'll bring back Trenton Watford. And I wasn't going to bring back Cam Reddish and Matisse Thibel on the quality qualifying offers but we didn't have any cap space anyway so I was like might as well bring them back and then we also needed to bring back Jeremy Grant he's an 82 overall he was a pretty big part of what the Blazers were doing in real life over this past season so I offered him a big contract in hopes that he would come back and he did end up coming back to the roster we also have a mid-level exception to work with this offseason, so I think I'm going to offer that to Kelly Oubre Jr. He's the best player available, and we're his best offer, so welcome to Portland, Kelly Oubre. Now let's go ahead and get into the player progression. Not exactly thrilled that Mr. Spin Move Pascal Siakam went down to an 86 overall after we just traded for him, but at least DeJounte Murray is up to an 87. I guess that's a plus. And looking at our rotation for this season, Tristan Thompson is starting at center. We are at the start of the 2023-24 season, and we have Tristan Thompson starting at the five. No disrespect, but, but it's not 2016 anymore. We're going to move Pascal Siakam to the five spot, and our lineup looks quite a bit better after that move. Unfortunately, it wasn't good enough, though, because we're 22 and 27 at the start of February. That's not going to cut it if we're trying to compete for an NBA championship. I know I just went out and made a ton of trade moves, but we've got guys on expiring contracts this offseason. I can't exactly afford to just sit around and say, you know what, we'll go ahead and run it back next year. We've got to make something happen now. OG Ananobi's going to refuse to resign. He doesn't even want to be here. Shout out Eric Bledsoe. And I might regret this, but I saw a big purr in the trade finder. Carl Anthony Towns, I, I can't believe I'm considering this move. We're not going to include Pascal Siakam. I will trade away OG and Anobi, and I'll also include Jeremy Grant. But I do want Jaden McDaniels back in this move. He's on a team-friendly contract. They're not going to go for it, but we do have picks that we can throw in. I'll throw in a first. You know what? We'll throw in two firsts here, and we get the trade done. This one might be a generational sell of a trade, but we'll see how it goes. I also saw Bobby Portis available in the trade finder. I guess Kelly Oubre Jr. waived his no trade clause because I did offer him that, and we got him. And then DeJounte, he was hooping for us, but I saw Tyrese, man. I had to do it. Tyrese Halliburton 
Welcome to the squad. And now our team is looking much better. But y'all thought I was finished? No. We're going to go ahead and get John Wall on the roster as well. Now we have a much better rotation. Look at Bobby Portis with his goggles looking all cool and stuff, man. I mean, I'm confident we can turn our season around now that we got Bobby Portis on the squad. John Morant is the MVP of the league. Wemby, Rookie of the Year. Evan Mobley wins Most Improved and DPOY. Unfortunately, we don't have any All-NBA players. And even worse, DeJounte ended up making All-Defense after we traded him away. But we were much better after the trade deadline. 45 and 37 as we're going to be in the play-in tournament. Hopefully, we can make something happen, though, and get into the playoffs. John Wall scored a lot for us. He played 83 games because he ended up getting traded. Bro, Chris Boucher played 86 games. He's going to be waiting on that overtime check from the NBA, but we're going to lose in the play-in tournament this season. I'm very disappointed in what happened for our team. We had a good midseason turnaround, but then we kind of just sold when it came time for the play-in. And oh man, the second play-in game, look who it was. Big Purr, Carl Anthony Towns. You were on the trade block this offseason. I shouldn't have trusted you. I, I, man, come on, bro. I trusted Carl Anthony Towns to who for us on that big old contract. He's making 50 mil, bro. Nah, I'm done with this. We're going to go ahead and get Jaron Jackson Jr. They want Bobby Portis. That, that's not going to happen. He's pretty much an untouchable on our squad. We will go ahead and give you Dariq Whitehead, though. Okay, we give you a second. You'll give us a first. I'll take that. That. But you know what I said about Bobby Portis? Ignore that. He's going to get traded right now. Bobby Portis, I see an offer for Jordan Poole. Hopefully the baddies are in Portland, man, because we're going to make this move happen. We also get a first-round pick. We'll slide JP over to the two, and we're pretty much good to go. I like our offseason moves. We got Triple J, and we got Jordan Poole. We will also be bringing back Jabari Walker, Portland Trailblazers legend. And we've got some big offseason extensions. We got to bring back Tyrese. And we got to bring back Jaden McDaniels and Pascal Siakam. Oh, this is a big offseason for the squad. But don't worry, we're bringing out the Brinks truck. We're going to go ahead and sign all these guys to extensions. Give them the money that they want. And boom, we got them all back on the team. So we should be good to go for another season. I forgot to use our mid-level exception, though. I simulated right past free agency. Forgot to use the mid-level, which sucks because we could have improved our roster. But uh, we will go ahead and sign somebody ahead of the season. P.J. Washington is here to save the day. Never fear, P.J. Washington is here. Let's go ahead and let's get to it, though. Our rotation, the CPU wants Damian Lillard to be off the bench, but we're just not going to let that happen. He will be starting at the 2, but maybe I should have listened to the CPU because around halfway through the season, we're 21-31. and 31. We absolutely suck. It's going to take a generational turnaround for our team to even make the NBA playoffs, so no one is safe at the trade deadline. Of course, uh, Damian Lillard won't get traded, but everybody else, man, y'all can go. Jordan Poole's having a good season. Triple J's playing well. Tyrese Halliburton's playmaking for our guys. But ultimately, if we can get somebody better, we'll try. Zion, we're, we're trying again, man. He's not an untouchable. We're going to go ahead and double back, see if we can make this move happen. We don't exactly have a ton of first-round picks to work with. We do have Jaron Jackson Jr., though, and our pick has a lot of value. But ultimately, it doesn't look like they're about to work with us. I, I tried everything. I've said ultimately a lot. I know y'all get on me about that. I see the comments. But, yeah, we can't get anything to work out with the Pelicans, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to move on. Luckily, our pick was super valuable. And I saw LaMelo Ball in the trade finder. I know we already have Tyrese and Dame. But I can't pass up on LaMelo Ball. We also get Jalen Duran, 2K Sim legend Jalen Duran. You know I had to do it to him, man. We're going to go ahead and get Jalen Duran and LaMelo Ball on the squad. We're going to get real crazy. Tyrese, you're going to run the four. Four. Lamelo, you can run the three. I, things are about to get weird. Jaron's going to run the five. And you know what? Maybe I'm not done making trades yet. We're going to make a trade for Devin Vassell. The Timberwolves have him on a minimum contract. 
so it's going to be easy to match his salary. We don't have a ton of draft capital to work with, but I'll give all of it up if we can go ahead and get Devin Vassell. I'm trading two first, all the seconds we have, and on the last second, we're able to get it done, man. We have Devin Vassell on the squad now as well. That rhymed, rhyming accidentally. Shout out Chris Smoove. We also went out and traded for Sam Hauser, but after that blockbuster move, I wasn't finished. I'm also going to go ahead and sign Billy Hernan Gomez to a minimum contract. Why not? 77 overall gives us some additional depth. Our team's looking a lot better. I know the little pie chart or bar chart. It's not a pie chart, man. That is most definitely a bar chart. My bad, bro. It's like 1130. I'm chilling here recording and stuff. Uh, you know, I'm a little out of it. But, yeah, the bar chart is all like red and orange. So we don't have the minutes all right. But it'll work out. We have good basketball players. Darius Garland won MVP. Victor Wembanyama won DPOY in his second season. Absolutely wild stuff from Wemby. Lamelo Ball ends up making the All NBA second team. He's absolutely balling for us. Ah ha ha! A real knee slapper there. And let's go ahead and let's get to the playoffs though. Jaron Jackson, All Defensive second team, and we made it, man. Forty-three and thirty-nine to end off the season. We made a really big turnaround. I think we were sitting at thirty-one losses when I made all those big trades and only twenty-one wins. So. Great stuff from the guys as we were able to make a big turnaround to our season. In the first round, we have the three-seeded Thunder. I'm not really too worried about the seeding, though, because, you know, we had to, we made that big turnaround. So we're better than our seed says. We're up 2-1 to one in this series. We're up 3-1. to one. Oh, man, get them out of here. It's a gentleman's sweep. We're moving on to face the Golden State Warriors. Russell Westbrook at the 2 is crazy. Russ at the 2 at the shooting guard? Nah, man. I, I'm, I like Russ, but Russ at the 2 is crazy. The series is tied 2-2. Two to two. We're going to take a 3-2 lead, and we get out of there in 6. Now we have the Houston Rockets in the conference finals. This is the last team in our way on our quest to get Dame an NBA championship. Game number one goes to us. Game number two goes to them. We take game three. We're up 3-1. Come on, guys. Lock in. Lock in. Don't blow this 3-1. We're in the NBA Finals facing Jason Tatum. Oh, my goodness. We are here. The Blazers versus the Celtics. LaMelo won the conference MVP. It'll be interesting to see if we do get the chip. Who wins the finals MVP? We're up 2-1. to one. We're headed to a game 5 with the series tied. Dame time. We need you to show up in this big game. The Boston Celtics get off to a great start early on in the game. And they hold on to it to go ahead and get the dub. Winning by 22 points. Damian Lillard had a solid performance. Triple J shooting 3 of 11 is not going to cut it though. As we're going to go ahead and lose in this one. Now we do take game 6. So it's all on the line here. Game 7. Our season on the line. Are we going to respond? Is Dame going to get his first ring? We're pulling away here. Dame's going to do it. We are NBA champions. Winning by 19 points in the final game. Dame leads the way in scoring. We got the job done. We won the NBA championship. What a great performance from the guys. And what a crazy turnaround to our season. Dame doesn't get the finals MVP. But hey, he got the championship. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for all the support on the videos lately. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.